in these challenging economic times. Finding a stable, well-paying job is more challenging than ever. But remember, God has given us talents to relieve our condition. We just need to tap into them. Introducing iShop.Black, your path to success. Register with us to start your own online business or move your existing one online. We are here to lower the barriers to entry. For a limited time, get one month free for monthly and annual subscriptions when you use discount code iShop. iMarketplace is a new service, so if you act now you'll have first mover's advantage. Take advantage of our free concierge service offer. Our associates are ready to assist you with your site setup. For a limited time, use discount code HOOKUP to save $5 off on monthly subscription fees. Why choose iShop.Black? 45 beautifully designed modern templates. Choose from a variety of professional templates to create your online store. Immediate searchability. Your site products will be instantly searchable on iShop.Black, allowing you to leverage our marketing reach. Fast setup, you can have your site up and running within minutes. Don't miss out. Hop Sneaker Contest, register at hops.win to win free sneakers. One entry per person please. Take control of your future with iShop.Black. The number one destination for melanated shoppers. unless you want super healthy gorgeous hair that grows they have a whole line of amazing hair growth products including hair growth leave-in conditioner spray hair growth shampoo hair growth spray and hair growth butter i'm starting to sense a theme here they include quality natural ingredients smell amazing and you can see the results for yourself so if you're looking for healthy hair growth for your natural or relaxed hair, try 12 Tribes on Earth today. Now we know um, when Joe Biden was running, many people were not happy that Joe Biden literally avoided all of the issues that the black community are concerned about. You know, they keep talking about the A word and voter suppression. And, you know, you know we're, we're not talking about those things. But I guess they figure they got to put something out there and try to pretend like it's a concern just so they can avoid talking about reparations, qualified immunity, and also a crime bill. You know? They still want to live on this don't do nothing for black people stuff. And we already know Kamala feels that way because she already put it out there that she's not going to do nothing just for black people. So we already know where she stands. Do I think it's going to make a difference that she is now running instead of Joe Biden? No, it, because many of us, we don't care about whatever race you're trying to label Kamala, we care about the policies. Contrary to what many of you may believe, we care about the policies. And if she has nothing for us, she pretty much is gonna be in the same boat with the black community that Joe Biden was in. And she's gonna find herself struggling to get that black vote. Right now, everything is still shiny and new. Let the dust start settling and you're going to really see it. Let's get beyond this week because this is where everything happened. So everything is still brand new. We just got to get through this brand new stage and reality will set in. So. Black voters were disenchanted by Biden. And they're saying now Kamala has a chance to get that support back. 
So some Black voters were losing faith in President Joe Biden, saying they found renewed hope and excitement in Kamala Harris' candidacy. Well, who are these people that you're talking to? That's my question. In recent months, polls showed Biden losing support among Black voters, with some manifesting more openness to a second Donald Trump presidency. Many cited economic and inflation concerns, as well as what they described as unkept campaign promises as a cause for their frustration. Others say they haven't felt the impact of Biden's attempt at student loan forgiveness. Farmers said they feel left out of Biden's efforts. And many others said his efforts at police accountability have stalled. Now, he's not doing nothing at all. It install, it is dead. All right. It's dead. In an April NBC poll, one third of black respondents, a demographic that played a critical role in Biden's 2020 victory, said the economy hadn't improved under Biden. Six in 10 said they felt their family income couldn't meet the cost of living. Now, with Biden leaving the race and endorsing uh, Kamala Harris, Democrats hope that becomes the key to winning back those disillusioned voters. Now, in this article, they are classifying Kamala because we know her race is changing more than a chameleon. So they said she is Black and South Asian, maybe aiming to recover Biden's loss, Black supporters, and bolster the chances of a Democratic victory in November. So according to an NBC News poll early in July, before she was the de facto nominee, showed Harris outpacing Trump among Black voters slightly more than Biden. So, you know, it just talks about Biden's lackluster debate performance and, you know, how it became clear that they would have to get Biden to step down and endorse Harris. So we know that has all happened. Now, will she be able to do it? I don't think, I think some may go over especially older voters, I think they will more than likely um, just embrace Kamala. But among the young, it's going to be not so fast, not so fast. And in the coming weeks, you're going to hear the same things. You know, what is she going to do for the black community? And we don't want to hear what we do for everyone will also impact the black community because you certainly didn't say that when it came down to that Asian crime bill or anything else that you openly did for other people like these immigrants. You didn't tell them, well, what we do for everybody in America will impact you too. No, you gave to them, specifically to them. And so if it's anything other than that, then she can best believe she will not get those voters either. So it depends on her and how she comes at the black community and communicate and express what she's going to do. Because if it's another fistful of nothing, that's what she should expect in November, for real. And the Democrats is still on this benign and neglect and they won't get off of it to save their mama's life. So y'all, please tell me what you think about this video. Do you think Kamala's going to win over what Joe Biden lost in the black community? Hey, we shall see. We shall see. I don't see a lot of enthusiasm out here just yet, but we'll see if that changes as we get closer to the election. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.